Hi guys, welcome back. Um, this week I decided to just do uh, just a simple sketch session. Um, there's lots of things that I feel like I still need to practice and improve upon. And one of the big things that I want to improve upon is drawing, I guess, more figures. Um, I usually do just busts, which is usually just like the upper torso, neck, and face. Um, but I do want to start drawing maybe a little more figures, like maybe a little bit lower down to the waist or maybe full body. And so um, I just decided, you know, this week instead of trying to produce a new piece of art, that maybe I should just record um, just a sketch session. And this is something that I like to do periodically just for fun, just to relax, just to practice a bit more. And um, usually what I'll do is I'll just take some you know, just random pieces of paper that I've got um, around my um, studio area. Sometimes they'll just be um, sheets that I've cut stuff out previously or maybe prints that didn't come out right. It's just random sketch paper. And then I'll just um, get like a pile of different um, pencils. Um, this time around I grabbed some uh, red pencils, some blue pencils. Some of them are mechanic, some of them are wooden. Um, and then I also grabbed eraser and um, a pen, but I, I think I only ended up really using that uh, blue pencil and then that red pencil. And um, so I guess it's more just about just, just, you know, being loose, being free, not feeling like you have to produce art, just, you know, just having fun with it. And so what I did is I grabbed a magazine, um, just... It was from, um, it's like a, I guess it's like a, a plus size model. Um, so it's like a brochure for clothing for plus size models. And I picked this out because I kind of want to, I guess, expand upon the body. Since I do want to do more figures and not just the bust or just the head area, um, I think that I would like to draw maybe more curvier women. And so that's why I decided to pick uh, just a magazine with nice pictures of women and use that just as reference just to have something to look on. Sometimes I'll go on to Pinterest and uh, compile some images that I like and use that as reference but I wanted to just you know just have an easy time with it so I just grabbed a magazine that was laying around um, like, a, like a catalog for clothing and um, I just used that as reference so I, w I just flipped through the pages and I just found you know, models in different poses. And I do like um, using like, catalogs because they're usually models posing in different clothing. So sometimes they'll have very um, interesting poses with their bodies. And so um, I do like to look at that as reference because sometimes it just, it's hard to find full figures sometimes um, in different poses. And that's already, you know, set up. So I, um, so I just used that magazine as reference. And um, again, I just try to find poses, and I try to find full body poses to to practice that. And again, I'm not trying to be very detailed or very specific, but I'm just trying to work more on the form, the overall body shape, proportions. Um, and also movement. Sometimes when I draw, it's very hard to capture movement in the body. And so um, sometimes I'll pick like this, the one that I'm working on right now, I picked a pose of a woman sort of walking, almost like she's walking. And I like that, that flow, especially with her, with her skirt or that dress. So that's why I picked that drawing or that, that specific pose to try and sketch out. And again, like I said, I'm not trying to be very detailed. I'm just trying to be very loose and just be really observant of the picture and sort of help train my eye, look, you know, help to train my eye to make sure that I'm looking at these details, looking at the curves, breaking it down into basic shapes um, as just practice. And um, I actually, I decided to do this on a live stream. So if you, wa if you guys want to see like live me sketching um, the live stream footage is available on my channel um, but I have been s 
sort of streaming, um, hope, hopefully I, I would like to do it more regularly on uh, Wednesday evenings and um, that way I you know, have a schedule and I can stick to it and keep streaming um, just to do something a little different. And um, like I said, so I decided to do this live on the stream. And then what I did is I compiled my footage um, in order to uh, produce this video for you guys. Like I said, it's just something a little bit different. And um, I, I would like to continue maybe doing this once in a while. Um, maybe have like, maybe do like a, um, I don't know, like a sketch session, you know, every once in a while have different sessions. Um, do you think that might be something you guys might be interested in seeing? Um, let me know in the comment section if, uh, if there's something else that you would like to see. Or if you are interested in seeing more sketch sessions, maybe what things I should draw. Maybe you guys have good ideas on what else I should draw. So uh, please feel free to leave any comments down below. And, um, or also, you can also join me on Wednesdays and we can sketch together um, on, our, on my live streams. And that way we can maybe um, you know bounce ideas back and forth. So if you guys are um, interested in that, just let me know. Um, but like I said, it's, it's just mostly just to have fun. And I'm not trying to draw them exactly or, you know, I don't want to stress myself with doing it very accurately. It's more of just being loose with it. And I think that's why I just stuck with that red pencil and the blue pencil. So I just very lightly can do very rough shapes. And then I'll start cleaning up this, this, the, I guess the shapes. And then if I feel like I need to clean it up a little bit more, then I would use the blue pencil. But again, it's just, just practice. Just being free and loose with my hand and keeping my hand warm. The uh, magazine I was looking at, or catalog, was for spring clothing, so there's a lot of dresses. This one had shorts on with a little like sweater on top, a lot of sunglasses, which it was kind of nice doing the sunglasses because then I'm not focusing in on the details of the face, which is what I normally do, and that's what I was trying to avoid. I was trying to do more bodies, and I guess focus more on forming bodies rather than forming the face, I guess. Well, for this pose, it was something very different. Um, I'd never tried to draw something like this. It's um, a lady looking forward, and all you see is her back and her arms up on her head, and her head is sort of tilted downward. And this was, oh, this was very, this was a very difficult pose for me to try and draw. And I don't know if you can tell, but I draw, I drew it very lightly first with lots of little sketch lines. And then I start trying to define it, but it was, it was kind of hard. <laughs> so maybe I should try and sketch that, uh, that position again and just try and do a little more practice. Cause I've, I don't, I don't think I've ever sketched anyone in that position before. I feel like these uh, sketch these sketch sessions are great. Like I said, it just it's more relaxing, um, especially this this week. I've just had a very very busy week, and I didn't I didn't quite feel like I was in the mood to create a new piece this week. But I still want to be able to to sketch and 
practice. So I thought that, you know, this would be a good, a good video for this week. Um, and I'm also pretty excited. I've been doing a little bit of thinking about, um, I guess, October. October's coming up really soon. And October is usually a really busy month for me. Just all the activities, um, family activities, and also like, like Inktober, I guess. Um, I, I usually do participate in, 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 or try to participate in Inktober. Um, last year, I was able to do every day, and I was so, so proud of myself for being able to accomplish, you know, a new drawing every day. And um, so I'm, I'm hoping to be able to do the same this year. Um, so I've been looking at the prompts and um, I've already started getting together my supplies so that I don't have to fuss with that. Um, and I've also started thinking about what videos or what um, drawings I'd like to produce for the month of October. And um, I think I wanna do mostly fan art in the month of October. Um, just because there's just, it's my favorite, you know, time of the year, fall, right before Halloween. And I feel like there's lots of fan art ideas that I have. So I think I'll probably do a lot of different drawings, fan art specifically for the month of October. And then for Inktober, um, I, I, I really like Inktober because that's another opportunity to be able to practice. And that's another one where I feel like I don't have to create a completed beautiful look each day. It's more about just, you know, being creative, thinking about the prompt and sketching something out and just keeping it really simple. Well, at least it is for me. So um, I feel like that'll be great. So I'm really looking forward to the uh, month of October. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram because that's usually where I post my daily um, October drawings. And then um, I might, if you guys are interested in maybe like recording some of the Inktober drawings and maybe um, compiling like a video of, you know, of maybe some of the Inktober drawings. So if you guys are interested in, in that, just let me know in the comment section. But I might, I might do something like that. I'm also, um, I'm also gonna be out of town in October for uh, like about a week or week and a half. So I'm also gonna try and get a little bit of work done previous in order to be available and not have to worry about um, you know producing art that week or having stuff for my Instagram. So I might have to work a little bit of, of, on that stuff prior um, but I'm pretty excited. I'm going to be going um, to Ireland. So it'll be the first time that I leave the United States um, or leave the continent because I have been out of the United States but not out of the, you know, the Americas, the, the continent. So um, I'm pretty excited. I'm also a little scared, I guess. But I, um, I also have to prep for that make sure that I've, you know, prepared for the travel. And um, like I said, I also want to make sure that I've got everything else prepared, especially since Inktober is every day. I want to make sure that I've got all that ready to go. But that's another good part about um, sketching, is that sometimes if you've got a lot on your mind, coming up with a new completed piece can sometimes be overwhelming. So if you just relax and start sketching you're able to still practice but not feel like you're pressured to create a new piece and sometimes while I'm sketching like I've got a million thoughts going through my mind and it's okay because I'm focusing my eyes are focusing on the details of the image my reference picture and my hand is just loosely trying to sketch and so it's almost therapeutic and you can think about other things and maybe plan things out um, 
and I think it I think it's it's very nice and calming and like I said it's also a way to keep your hand warm and practicing so um, yes yeah, ske sketching sessions are really nice I'm really curious to know if, um, and if, if any of you guys have sketch sessions like I do, um, or if you do something a little differently. Um, just wondering. So if you guys have any sketch sessions, or you know ways that you do it, or things that you prefer, just leave it in the comment section. I'd be really curious to know. Um, again, if you guys have sketch sessions, or if you guys do it a little bit differently, or what are some of the things that you guys sketch. Like I said, right now I'm doing more bodies and curvy women, but um, I wonder what you guys are up to and what you guys sketch if you guys have sketch sessions like I do. So um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And I probably wasn't that exciting, but it was very fun and therapeutic for me. And I really want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!